So welcome back to another vid <coughs> video. My name is Cooper, if you're new here. Um, didn't have much going on in the rest of this. I'm just going to show some projects got going on. Like pretty much do all the time. So uh, this week I started this alligator wallet. It's lined with a pig skin. I got some uh, this cow. I dyed it black. So it's going to look like that. Here's a Here's the rest of it, so um, if any, I can, I'm gonna make, so this is gonna be two vaults of this. There's a third, so if anybody wants one of those, message me on Instagram, CS Leather, or CS, um, CS underscore leather. Just mesh me on there, we'll get something figured out. All right, if anybody is looking for anything for sale, uh, I know Christmas is coming up. Um, better be thinking about that if you want anything ordered. Um, so if you're in order from anybody else or from me, um, they want heads up right around now. They do not want the month before Christmas. A lot of times they'll turn you down, so you better be thinking about it now. Um, this is not just me. This is a other leather crafters um we all pretty much agree with that um so uh it wouldn't be as bad for me since i don't have as many orders as a lot of other people but um here's some options for some things if you're looking and shopping around so here's this wallet i made it's simple money clip two pockets for one here one there money clip Got somebody who takes notes. Got a little notebook. Fits right in your shirt pocket. Pass it stamped on the other side. Foil on the other. Anybody um, is curious how much anything, I say uh, mesh me on the Instagram. Um, because that way, if you're asking me the prices and stuff, and tell me which one it is, you are more serious. So, here's another one. This is another different style notebook. Some people prefer this style over the other one. Um, so, yeah. So, we have a serpentine border with a basset stamp. I think that's a pretty nice notebook. This uh, knife sheaf here. Um, I'm pretty sure this one's sold, and this one is sold, but I do have some of those extra if anybody was to want any of those. Um, here's a wall I'm really happy with. So, um, so we have the red on the uh, little dots for the fire center. First time doing that, I think it turned out nice. Did a different, different style of money clip. Um, so these two are both money clippers, right? But uh, I did them in a different way. So you can see that one is thinner than the other. Um, and I think I'm gonna start doing that more. Um, so same wallet, but uh, one's a little thinner. Um, so there's your main difference. Pockets are coming here. Those pockets are going there. This is the kind of more traditional style for these. This is kind of more of a modern twist. Very different. Also main, another main difference is your stow line is right through the middle. And this is seamlessly. It was all the way in a nice square. There's nothing going on here. That is my main reason why I love this wallet. And that's also why we changed up the pockets. So we can make that work. And um, that's another reason why I like this. As goes to me, a way classier look than that. When it goes to sewing down through the middle. Um, a lot of times 
it can kind of get sloppy it can get kind of crooked um i've done enough times i'm starting to get it right but that is his can't tell me that's not more classy with it being seamlessly through the middle and i mean this thing also folds i mean and again you carry these suckers every day for a couple of weeks and it will fold like that with your money in it no no it won't come to the shape you know so there's a there's what i got been going on um so get some things working on i also have another one of these um that i'm making for inventory and another knife sheath um so it is gonna have a bell flower it's fully tooled from front to back to the inside pockets it is a um, my goal with it was uh, the most fanciest nicest but classy wallet you could have or it's not a wallet it's a notebook and I think we pulled it off on that because it's fancy enough because you got the pockets tool but I did it in a way where you know it's not a very fancy flower it's kind of a classy kind of a classier look you know top um, in my opinion and then the borders aren't dyed um, it's just straight seamless like this um, and I think it, and then we also went ahead and see these little pieces here uh your background pieces are dyed black and that also gives another kind of almost flashy but classy look and i think it is turning out awesome so just gotta finish sewing it up uh you know so if you're interested in any of these let me know want something ordered message me on there we'll figure something out see y'all later y'all keep reaching